takeaways from this film, Martha, for you, things that you discovered afresh? You say one aspect was you didn't really realize how rare abortion is, let alone later term abortion. Um, anything else? Yeah, I mean, I think that when people go in to see the film, and also for us making the film, I think the takeaway is really just that this issue is so much more complicated than you ever could imagine, and that it's really hard to um, to imagine what decision you're going to make unless you're in this another person's shoes. Of course you don't want an abortion. Nobody wants an abortion. She had a disease where she can't bend at her joints. You could be a stillborn. Mm -hmm. She's just too far mm -hmm. along and I can't help her. What's the right thing to do? What's really helping people? I just thought the other day, I can't retire, my God. <laughs> there aren't enough of us. As a doctor, you're trying to reduce suffering in, in the world. And you can reduce the suffering of every patient who walks in your door in abortion care. And that is not true in any other field of medicine that I know of. Every woman walks in at a moment of crisis and you can solve her problem and you can treat her with kindness and dignity and compassion and make a huge difference to the way she feels about things. And for those women who are mourning, as you put it, a, a highly desirable or highly desired yeah. pregnancy that went wrong somewhere? Those women, uh, you know, we do everything we can to make it clear that we see her baby as, a, as her baby. This is, if she's named it, we call it by name. Um, often those people want to view the baby, hold the baby, we'll take remembrance photographs for, the mm -hmm. for her. Anything to give her something to walk home with so she's not totally empty-handed. We work with a funeral home. Lots of people want to have their baby cremated. Isn't this all incredibly complicated, though, when you're at the same time saying women yes. have a right to terminate their pregnancy? Yes, but they, I mean, luckily those women do have a right to terminate it because they feel either that their baby would have a short, miserable life of suffering, and this is their one chance to do a good parenting act. 